Hi everybody. everybody! Today we are here in Sevierville, Tennessee, and today we're going to look at all the new things happening in downtown Sevierville. They just got done doing a downtown beautification project, which we've done all the sidewalks. They actually got some pretty cool murals. And then we're going to head over to Gray's Burgers and try some of these gourmet burgers. You ready, Dawn? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. We're here in the city of Sevierville, nestled just outside the Great Smoky Mountains, and is the county seat of Sevier County, home of Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, Seymour, Kodak, and other small communities. Well, this is new. They actually painted this mural on the side of a building down here. As you can see, it's little Dolly Parton getting her first well, cheeseburger. Dolly often talks about her experience at Red's Diner. One of the things I like about the new downtown here is these placards tell a little bit of history about downtown Sevierville. Uh, they're actually showing the progress of Bruce Street. Temple Milling Company used to be just down the road here. They also show the Christmas Parade in 1980. Yeah, they used to actually have the Christmas Parade downtown here. And the post office, which is still here and is now the museum, the city of Sevierville's museum. Here's one of the newest restaurants downtown called the Appalachian. It's supposed to have a upscale, well, dinner experience. On March 31st, 1856, Sheriff Lemiel Duggart accidentally started a fire that destroyed the courthouse and adjacent jail. 41 houses, most businesses, and valuable county records. A 13-year-old inmate perished. Witness never forgotten the dying screams of a young man afterwards. The jail bars were salvaged for various projects during the rebuilding of the town. Eventually, some of these were crafted into grates to cover the storm drains. This is one of the two that remain, and these are the jail bars. These used to be in the back alley further down. But when they redid the streets here, they actually reincorporated it back here in front of the Dolly Parton mural. You'll notice these two steel rails running down the middle of Bruce Street here. This was the railway to, well, the slow and easy, an old train that would run from Sevierville to Knoxville, carrying goods and supplies and, and people. And they have a placard here dedicated to the old slow and easy. A lot of cool information and really cool photos. And then over here next to it is the actual rails. When they were digging up Bruce Street during this renovation, they came across a lot of the old artifacts. And I believe these rails were embedded. Yeah. Layers and layers of pavement and blacktop. And now they're here on display. And here's the old cash hardware. Still in business, still in operation today. Definitely, definitely unique. You normally don't see these hardware stores, especially in downtowns. Here is the old Sevier County Post Office, now repurposed as the Sevier County Heritage Museum. We're gonna have to go in there one day and show you what it's all about. They seem to be closed every single time I come here. Yet again, it's closed today. This definitely screams small town America. An old time barber shop. Definitely a little piece of Americana here. Not too many barber shops like this left. A monarch butterfly. You can actually stand up next to the building and become a butterfly. 
you can definitely tell it's dolly well inspired but we can't get to it today because they're doing a little work here i believe they're going to add a little more features we're old meets new you'll notice there's bricks that were probably made well over a hundred years ago there's new buildings springing up next to the old ones and they're working on this one here they've already built a few new buildings especially the appalachian you gotta love small town america there's nothing like it They got a really unique quilt shop called the Cherry Pit. Quilting supplies, fabrics, and, and patterns. The headquarters for Old Smoky Moonshine is located downtown here at 101 Bruce Street. One of the must things to do is stop at the Dolly Parton statue. Thousands of people weekly come over here to well, get their photo taken with Dolly Parton. Located right next to the Dolly statue is Downtown Information. They actually have a historic walking tour. You can actually grab one of those pamphlets and take a walking tour, totally free. You'll find a lot of interesting history. We're here in front of the Sevier County Courthouse. Of course, a lot happens here. Uh, we actually visit this place quite a few times throughout the year, of course, to get our tabs for our plates. Uh, we actually got our marriage license there. This is technically, yeah. technically this is where we got married, believe Ten it or years not. Ago. Yes, and also if you do bad things, you'll end up here too, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah, because the court are also in session and you pay your property tax and everything right here so it's a busy little building uh, Monday through Friday And just like every downtown, this statue here represents our armed forces. The one thing I noticed when I moved to the south was a lot of support for the men and women who gave all for this country. We also have a festival each year called the Barbecue and Bluegrass Festival. It's one of my favorite festivals here in the Smokies. Definitely check their website out. Usually happens in, in the spring. Here's another placard called Floods and fires. Downtown Sevierville has been plagued with both. They used to have floods at the forks of the river. There's many photos of downtown being flooded to their door tops. That was all fixed back when they put in the, the dam systems, the TVA systems in the area, and fire. Of course, a lot of downtowns have issues with, with fire with the buildings being built so close and just the aging of the structures. The corner of Bruce Streets and Forks of the River, are also known as 66, is the entrance to downtown Sevierville. Chances are you've passed it on your way to Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg. I noticed that there's a well pump underneath the Sevier County Sheriff's sign. I wonder if there's any kind of history to that. A lot has happened here on Court Avenue. Of course, they welcome back the POWs back in 1953. And there's also some photos here of the changes of the, well, the street facade. There are a lot of old photos of this square here. Very congested these days, being one of the main arteries 
here on Main Street. Settled about 1783, this town first called Forks of Little Pigeon was organized by the county seat of Sevier County in 1795. Indian trader Isaac Thomas, home of the first courthouse, fort and tavern. Jaws McMahon gave 25 acres tack for the town, which now later named for John Sevier, the first governor of the state. So we're here in the corner square Back in the day, this was an open square. Now it's part of Main Street, a very busy Main Street. Technically, this is the main junction to Dolly Parton Parkway, and of course, home to many of restaurants. Located here in the town square is the town fountain. Yes. And a nice little story about the old, well, Central Hotel, which is actually the oldest hotel in Sevier County. But for many years it was, well, turned into office space and part of the Sevier County Bank system. But just recently, it turned itself back into the Central Hotel again. I love how they put these electrical outlets in for festivals and that for vendors to hook up to. But they actually look like old hitching posts. You know, back in the day when you hitch your horse up to it. Isaac Dockery, a native to Sevier County, Isaac Dockery, an African-American brick maker and mason, established brick kilns near Sevierville. After the Civil War, he built or made bricks for many of the buildings in Sevierville, including the Masonic Lodge in 1893, New Salem Baptist Church in 1886, and the Sevier County Courthouse in 1896. A talented master builder, he taught several generations of local brick masons. I love old architecture of downtown buildings. We had a great walk through downtown Sevierville. Now we're going to head into Gray's Burgers to grab something to eat. I heard a lot about these burgers. They're supposed to be really good. Let's do this, right? Let's do it. Local grass-fed burgers. So I noticed they got a classic. They got a local farmer for $14.99. They got a chili chili bang bang. <laughs> they also have the last frontier, a hippie, and a bourbon blue. Hmm. So they've been ranging about $13 to $15. They also have soups and local greens. Um, they also have a wedge salad, about $6.99 for that. They also have big dogs. They actually have great big huge hot dogs here. They got a trailer park. That sounds interesting. The trailer park. How about Billy the Kid? Definitely got some unique names. Eh, about $12 on the dogs. They also got milkshakes here. Death by Chocolate. Ooh, that actually sounds really, really good. And they also have some house pies. They actually got some starters. They got house fried pickles. I've actually heard about them. They got, of course, um, mushrooms and queso, averaging about uh, $9. And here's their sides. They have hand-cut fries. They have beer-battered onion rings. I love some onion rings. They also have a Parmesan truffle fry. That sounds interesting. They also have six mac with aged gouda cheese. Ooh. And they also have a drink menu for folks out there who want to, well, have a cocktail. They got wines and, and beer, averaging about three and a half dollars to about ten dollars for a cocktail. I love the original walls that are in here, probably laid over a hundred years ago. It's got quite the interesting atmosphere, quite just rustic type atmosphere. Uh, but we ordered some Cokes. And it is here. Look at that. Wow. So I ordered the mac and cheese. And it looks really super good, actually. It comes on this little, like, um, I don't know, kind of like a cast iron bowl. And then there is my Tennessee burger. You see the burger there, and then the cheese, and uh, pickle, and 
there, there's actually an onion ring on top. Of course, it's got this cool little like um, topper to hold it all together, right? And then what did you get, Dawn? The um, farmhouse burger and Brussels sprouts. In Brussels sprouts. Look at the Brussels sprouts. That looks really good. Uh, definitely got a caramelization to them. And then that is cool. Bacon. You got a you got a fried egg, Dawn? Yeah. On your burger over there. I think there's a burger underneath that. Yeah, there is. That is. These are actually really cool looking burgers here. Look at that. get into this mac and cheese guys it looks super super good look at it. it's even stringy like that. Got a lot of flavor. you know this might be the best macaroni and cheese I've had period maybe it is really good look look at that That's the mac and cheese. What do you think about the mac and cheese? It's actually good. It's got a lot of flavor. It, it tastes does. kind of like Gouda cheese. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Look at that. It's all really gooey and creamy. and It is really... Wow. Okay, now it's time to get into this burger. I'm going to remove this decorative... Um, I don't know what that is. Like. We're gonna get into this burger. It's not crazy big, but it's um you can definitely tell it's it's done just right. You ready? Well you, you got yours? Your it's burger crazy. Your burger's way bigger than mine. What did you order? The farmer's burger. Farmer's burger. Okay, let's get into it. My first bite of the burger, the first thing I noticed is that they season the beef, um, and it's really well seasoned, um, and definitely juices from um, you know the toppings are in there. But but the burger is prominent. What did you think about your first bite? It was good. It was good. Yeah. Don <laughs> says it's good. If I get to the center of it, I can taste the um, looks like the pulled pork and a little bit of the sauce. And, um, and you can still taste the burger. The burger has a really good taste. It's almost kind of like I like, got like a Lawry's like seasoning on it. So it's a little bit on the salty tasting. Um, but I, I like it. I like it. I'm already full. <laughs> and I haven't even got halfway done with this. Uh, the mac and cheese is really filling me up. We had two Diet Cokes around $6. Don had the local farm burger with balsamic belly Brussels, which was $2 upcharge. Uh, I had a Tennessee burger, which was $13.99, and I had a six mac and cheese, which was a $2 upcharge, and our total was $43.54. So what did you think about Gray's Burgers, Don? The Gray's Burger, I had, um, I ordered the farmer's burger. Farmer's bur farm burger. Farm burger, yeah. Farm burger. And then it had egg on it, fried egg. It was pretty good and it was tasty. It had bacon. And the Brussels sprouts were really good and flavorful. Yeah. What was your favorite part? Like the burger, the Brussels sprouts, or would it be anything? I like them both. You liked them both? <laughs> yeah. Were there anything you would do different next time? I'd probably still get the Brussels sprouts, <laughs> but a different um, food menu item. Yeah, so the atmosphere in there was about basic. Uh, of course, I do like the um, the booths because they have high backs on them, so that was really cool. Uh, I had the mac and cheese, guys. The mac and cheese was awesome. 
really, really good. Probably, I would say, probably one of the best mac and cheeses I've had in this area in a long time. Also, the burger was actually really, really good. So the big question is, Dawn, would you do Gray's Burgers again? Yes. Yeah, I would do Gray's Burgers again. No. Now, for value, it's probably above that average for non average burgers because you can get an egg you can get a lot of so i don't know where you put the pricing on that but it was pricey uh by the time we tipped and everything we were almost up to 50 dollars on that but guys that's gonna do it for today here in beautiful and i mean beautiful downtown Sevierville. i highly suggest everybody come out here check out downtown it's worth a stop it's even worth to see dolly <laughs> and walk around and just enjoy this beautiful town Guys, we love you, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.